Okay, hi. So yeah, my name is Devin and welcome back to my Amazon channel. So for today's video, we're gonna feature Blast Toys and yes, finally, Blast Toys is here as a new friend. So the world, only way to get Blast Toys is to buy from the shop over here. It costs 8,000 points or the 8,000 AR coins. So just to let you know. So yeah. That is how you get Blast Toys. So yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at the move pool for Blast Toys. So Blast Toys is a really unique Pokemon. It's not so much on offensive in terms of the stats. Uh, it's more of a it's more of a defender, support, and not a good scoring. And it's a weak mobility in terms of the stats. But it, in terms of his move pool. It's actually a very support uh, Pokemon and it's a very offensive Pokemon if you are going as an attacker role. So in my opinion, this Blastoise is more of an attacker slash support rather than a defender. But uh, with a defender build, it can be quite tanky. And even without a tanky items, he is already quite tanky enough to survive some hits. So yeah, without further ado, let's look at the move pool. So first, it has a basic attack. So this is really uh, unique. Not really unique. It's actually uh, the basic, uh, the basic, basic where like a normal other Pokemon at the third attack, it will do damage and increase uh, the movement speed. And at the same time, it will do a continual damage, something like a burn or a poison over time. So yeah, this is can be kind of useful over here. So the next is Torrent, when at HP, at HP or less, its attack and special attack are increased. So this makes your basic attack and your ability attack uh, more powerful. So yeah. And next it will be Water Gun. So Water Gun is kind of the it's kind of like a better Water Gun for Slow Growth because it not just do damage, but it not just do damage and increase over increase the over speed. It can also Push the, opponent, push the opponent back. So this can be kind of useful if you want to like uh, kind of like trap the opponent, hit to the wall so that the opponent will be kind of like stuck, stuck there. Uh, or if not, you can actually push back to your own ally and let your allies come in and try to take damage to the opponent. So water gun can be really useful. So next is Skull Bash. Skull Bash is more of a dash where you can uh, just dash forward or to chase or to escape so at the same time you can also do damage so scout bash can be really useful over here so next is hydro pump so hydro pump is like a better version of water gun where you will just blast the enemy and do damage and you will push back the opponent too so yeah uh, one one thing to take note is that uh, once it actually evolves, the Hydro Pump will actually do more damage. So yeah. So next is Water Spout. Water Spout is uh, uh, AOE damage at a designated location and at the same time it will decrease the movement speed. So Water Spout actually apparently do more damage than the Hydro Pump. Surprisingly. So yeah, Water Spout can be kind of useful. Uh, uh, yeah, it can be kind of useful to either to just do some cheap damage to the opponent or try to decrease the movement speed. So yeah, Water Spout can be very strong. Uh, and this Hydro Pump and Water Spout can actually be a really good combo with Rapid Speed, which I will explain that later on. So yeah. Next is Surf. So Surf, uh, what it does is that uh, it will charge forward at a very long range and after that, and, and also you'll be immune to the hindrance and at the same time you can jump uh, jump at any direction something like a great ninja ulti uh, once you ulti you can move at a decent direction so yeah and at the same time the upgraded version you will give a shield uh, when using this move so surf can be really good to chase the enemy and yeah just to chase the enemy or if not uh, go forward and use your unite move or just spam your uh, move where it's not equal so surf can be really useful next is rapid speed so rapid speed is a very useful uh, 
very useful skill. Uh, with a, once you use a rapid speed, you'll be a buff. And at the same time, you will still do damage in uh, AoE. Uh, but if you click and a basic attack, it will do damage surrounding yourself. And at the third basic attack, it will uh, do damage too. And at the same time, uh, and at the same time, you perform as per normal, but you will be like a melee attacker instead of a range attacker for this basic attack. And at the same time, you will decrease the mobile speed and do continual damage. So that's a nice thing about rapid speed. So with a hydro pump, uh, when you use a hydro pump, it will be cool down. And when you use a rapid speed, your hydro pump will be reset. The cooldown will be reset and you can use Hydro Pump again. But when you use Hydro Pump again, it will do damage and at the same time it will stun the opponent in the AoE damage. So, and you also push back the opponent. So, this Rapid Speed Hydro Pump combo can be really good for as a support and stun the enemy, push back the opponent so that uh, the opponent will be in a bad position. So that you'll be trapped, or if not, that your allies will push towards your ally, try to aim towards and push towards the ally and let the ally attack the opponent. So, in that sense, uh, Hydro Power Rapid Spin can be really good as a support. For Water Spout, likewise, once you use a Water Spout and then you use a Rapid Spin, the cooldown will be reset. But when you use a Water Spout, uh, it will do an AoE damage. When, when, sorry, when you use the water spot again, it will do an AoE damage and it will do more damage than the Hydro Pump Rapid Speed combo. So, yeah, both Rapid Speed, Hydro Pump and Water Spot has its own pros and cons. Uh, one is a supporting move and one as a attacking move. So, yeah, it depends on how is your game and your playstyle, uh, which uh, combo that you are going to try to use. So, yeah. So, last but not least, the Unite move is uh, kind of like a. Uh, it just basically. It will do an AoE damage around you in a very large uh, diameter, and at the same time, it will also grant you a shield. So, with this, a uh, body shield is not necessary, uh, in my opinion. So, yeah, basically, this. The uh, Unite move will just do damage and at the same time, it can kind of like mini stun the opponent too. So this can kind of, so this can be a really good combo if you actually surf into a, let's say into a Zedos or a Dreadnought and then you use a Unite move. Sorry, uh, not just surf, you can also blink in with a Jet Button and then you use a Unite move. You can do damage and at the same time, try to KS the Zedos and Dreadnought and mini stun the opponent. If you didn't manage to do it, while they are at mini stun, you can just spam all your moves. Uh, yeah, you can just basically spam all your moves. So, yeah. Oh yes, I also forget to mention. So one thing to take note is that once you are in a rapid speed, once you are in a rapid speed, you can eject button out and still able to rapid speed. But you cannot down to score the you cannot score any points and you cannot use a unite mode while you are in a rapid speed. So that is one thing to take note. When you have when you have a rapid speed, so yeah, for my build, uh, I will use water gun so that I can attack some creeps. Uh, in my opinion, uh, after that, after that, followed by scout bash to kind of like chase the opponent and escape. Next, uh, there's so many versatility. You can either have a hydro pump or water spot. Uh, that's all up to you. Water spot can be used to chase to kind of like chase the opponent and decrease the mobile speed while Hydro Pump is just to do damage and just push back the opponent so yeah both has pros and cons uh, then next you can also have a choice of having a serve or rapid speed so there is so many combinations that you can use you can have a Hydro Pump serve, Hydro Pump rapid, rapid speed or it's not a Water Spot serve or a Water Spot rapid speed both works either way so yeah uh, if you are going for an attacker role, uh, you can have, you can try a rapid spin and a water spot. If you want to go as a support role, you can try a rapid spin and a hydro pump. If you want to KS Dreadnought or Zapdos, you can use Surf or you can use Surf 
and a hydro pump or a water spout. Both works. So yeah, that is my move build and I will showcase uh, the different combinations that you can use with a rapid spin. Yeah, I'll be posting three videos featuring rapid spins and water spout and a rapid spin and hydro pump and a surf with either a, a hydro pump or a water spout. So yeah, I'll be posting three videos, so do check it out. So next, it will be my item build. So for my item build, uh, eject button is really good. I feel eject button is a must over here. Uh, I'm not sure what other items can be useful, maybe even a go-getter. But I feel eject button will be more useful because you can just blink in and I'll be or not blink in and uh, just, just bang on. So yeah. For the help item wise, my build is this. Muscle band, so that you can do more damage when you are either with or without a rapid spin. Energy amplifier, so that uh, after you use a unite move, all of your attack, uh, all of your attack uh, damage will increase. And at the same time, your charge rate will, your unite move charge rate will, will charge faster, and your cooldown will be have an increased cooldown. Sorry, no, is it increased cooldown? Has a faster cooldown. That's one. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I forgot to mention actually, Blastoise naturally has already a very increase, has a high increase uh, charge rate for its own item. So basically Blastoise is just there to keep spamming your ulti if possible. So that can be really useful for Blastoise. So next will be Focus Band, where uh, so that you can increase our survivability uh, and uh, once you hit a once you hit the threshold of your HP, it will increase your HP over time by level percent. So yeah, this makes Blastoise slightly more tank uh, and increase the survivability for this. So yeah, uh, this is my build for this Blastoise. Uh, I've also seen some Blastoise to have a float stone, or if not, just a body barrier and a focus band. So that also kind of works for my other videos. So yeah. If you are having only a one item build, uh, I suggest to have an energy amplifier so that once you use your unite move, because ultimately Blastoise is just to keep spamming your unite move. Uh, uh, yeah, it's basically just spam your unite move and try to increase, try to reduce your cooldown so that you can spam all your moves. So, yeah, Blastoise will be really useful for that. So, for a two item build, you can have an energy amplifier or a master band, or if not, any energy amplifier and a focus band. So, yeah, that is my build for this boss toys. So, yeah, do let me know uh, what is your build uh, of this item set of this boss toys in the comments below. Do let me know. So, until then, I will see you in the battle where I will showcase three videos for this boss toys. See you there. Okay, so yeah, managed to get boss toys. Hopefully, I can. So yeah, I apparently the attacker over here. So yeah, one of the ability attacker which Blastoise can work very well. Uh, but it can also be a defender at the same time. So I'm gonna try a heavy spin hydro pump combo as I think that it's pretty well over here. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. It seems like BC will be the one that is doing the <laughs> defending role over here. <laughs> Even though it's more of a support, but I feel that BC in our team is more of a defender. Okay, it seems like we are. You see, why are you stealing my creeps? Nope, I'm gonna let you. 
But oh man, this Blissey has been stealing my creeps. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we just wait until the next creep wave has come out. Oh death. No, Blissey. Uh, you are supposed to defend, not steal the creeps. Oh, that, 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 that's it. That's a bad mistake. Okay, he's a water spot user. Uh, I'm going to, I, I'm using the hydro pump user. I, I feel hydro pump is a lot better than water spout. Uh, I'm not hitting level 5 because. <laughs> because Blissey or Chansey has been stealing all my creeps. He's not a good support. He's <laughs> not a good support at all. Solo uh go Tom. Yeah, apparently this water turtle is actually a jungler, which is so unique. Yeah, oh nice, very speed. Let's see who is better. A hydro palm or a I didn't reach a button, okay, I thought I had it. Oh! Oh, I don't think we... Oh, thank god, my choke. Oh, he saved the idea. I thought Blastoise would kill it. Last toys I can solo. So yeah, that is a really neat combo. Oh, yeah. The bad thing about this is that once I'm a rapid spin, I can't use my own. So that's a bad thing about it. Yeah. And I can't inject button too. Oh wait, no. When I rapid spin, I can inject button, but I can't uh, use my ulti. So basically, once you are in the rapid spin, ulti. and a cool thing about and a cool thing about and yet yes, while you are rapid spin, you can't down the tower. So yeah, that's not. And what's interesting about uh, Blastoise is that his Unite Charge move can charge up so fast. Charge up very fast. <laughs> I need to work on my accuracy. I really need to work on my accuracy. <laughs> so that's the bad thing about it. Oh, that's a nice one. No, 
not bad. We actually concentrate on top so that uh, Macho and Lokaru can come. Through. I miss that. So yeah, Blast Toys. My build is more of a okay, he surrendered, that's nice. <laughs> so yeah, that's good. So far, that's why I feel uh I think Hydro Palm is way a lot better than Water Spark, but there's pros and cons because Water Spark you can kind of like chase the opponent. Uh because it's like uh you can land a designated target in an AOE damage and you can slow the opponent when that happens you can chase but the bad thing is that once you are using a rapid spin the water spout will do less damage than the hydro pump so yeah and that's the bad thing about uh, water spout and for hydro pump the only bad thing is that you must be really accurate otherwise it can be really useful so that you can push opponent back you can blink in and push or if not if you can outspeed uh, outspeed the opponent and push back to, your, to where your allies will go and so that your allies can just try to KO the opponent and at the same time when I rapid spin and uh, hydro pump uh, I can push back the opponents too uh, alongside with the okay, music of water spot too so that is a neat combo for Blast Toys as you can have seen from this video yeah the opponent just remember <laughs> so yeah this shows I feel hydro pump is uh, in terms of the damage output, it's better than Water Spout, I feel, when you are using a Rapid Spinner. But you can't really chase the opponent, so that's a bad thing. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the battle. Uh, hopefully, I can showcase the Water Spout combo with Rapid Speed. So, until then, I will see you then. Okay, so, yeah, I'm trying to get to it. Uh, it seems like I'm more of a defender over here, <laughs> but I can still use a water spout and a uh, rapid spin combo over here. It can do damage on my feet, or it can do something over here. And likewise, for my opponent team, it also has a blast voice as a defender. So, yeah. But we have a, also a good late game for Gather Ball to have a DS for the boss, as well. So, yeah, let's get. Ready, go! So I will always use water gun. I will prefer go to the bot, to be honest. Okay. In my opinion, I feel Blast Toys is not so much on the defense. Yeah. It's more. I feel it's more of an attacker than a defender. A bulky attacker, I'd rather say. Yeah. It's a really interesting way to play Blastoise. It's not a typical defender that you usually see. And what's good about uh, Squatter is that the Skull Bash can be used as a dash. So it, it can be used to can be really useful to escape or to chase the enemy. And at the same time do damage. Oh wow. If I if I just try to catch catch there. I miss that. How do I miss that? Okay. Oh, okay. So 
I'm gonna try Water Spout and see how much damage it can do. Oh, oh what? <laughs> that still kills? Are you kidding me? So our airline should start to come down in 7 minutes 30 seconds. Okay, it, it actually does a huge, quite a good amount. It actually does quite a good amount there. Okay, it's strong. <laughs> I finally agree, it is strong. Oh, damn. Man, but focus band really helps. Oh! I wanted to run to the rapid spin and water spot so that I can push for push back. For who? Oh, it's got a ball. Okay, I thought it was his name. Okay, where's our air? Our team? We need to join that. We need to join the jet. Wow. I'm not in a bad. I'm not in a good spot because. Wow. 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 <laughs> that kid has. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh my god, this is so funny. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now I kind of changed my mind. Water spout can be quite small. can be quite good. For some reason, it does more damage without a rapid spin. Yeah, uh, I'm going. I, I'm going board. I mean top. They can down board if they want to. Oh wait, they oh they finish for top. Oh, that means actually I should have actually stayed for top. Oops. Yeah, I should actually stay bottom. That's my bad, that's my bad. Even though you are struggling, you are actually doing not a bad position actually. Okay, he outed me. He outed me. That's, that's the reason why I lost. I just realized, uh. Come on! Oh no. Okay, I'm dead. So I just realized that when I use a rapid spin and use a. a water spout, it actually doesn't push back, unlike a uh, hydro pump. So instead, it actually just do more damage. It just do damage. I realized. But it's alright. It's actually alright. Our team is actually not doing that bad, to be honest. Okay, a Thunderbolt. A Thunderbolt, uh, Pikachu. So 
Yeah, yeah. At a rapid speed, I can just keep on using attack. Okay, just keep on attacking. If I hide in the bush, I might still leave. If I use the jet button, I might still leave, but I think I want, I, should, I think I want to save my jet button for the Z boss. Yeah. So this is a really close fight. Even though you are struggling, I think you are still not in a bad position. So I can just bring in and OT. Wow, Gardevoir has done the job! Yes! <laughs> That's how strong Blastoise is. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Oh, that is so funny. And I don't have a body barrier. I don't have it. Yeah. Nicely done. Now it's just... Rush. What goal? Ran indeed now. What goal? Uh, yeah, I'll take Granger defend. And if possible, I will attack. What goal? What a good support. I died. I can. I should have actually outdid. Yeah, to be honest. I should have actually outdid over there. So that I can survive. But yeah, we are in a good position. We are in a very good position. So yeah, that's how you use Water Spout, Rapid Spin. And Five, basically, the idea four, for three, this build is two, to bring in OT and then you Rapid Spin and keep on spending Water Spout. So okay, now I. Changed my mind that uh, Rapid Spin Water Spout actually does more damage than, uh, than Hydro Cannon. But there's pros and cons. Hydro Cannon, sorry, not Hydro Cannon, Hydro Pump can actually push back the open so that you can allow, like, you can kind of stun that in that sense. So there's pros and cons for using both Water Spout and uh, Hydro Pump. Uh, so, yeah, depending on whether you want to be a damaging, uh, be a damage attacker or be a support to stun the enemy but at the same time uh, Hydro Pump can still do damage uh, but not as much as the Water Spot so yeah there you go so yeah in the next battle I will be showcasing the build for using a Surf and if not a Water Spot or Hydro Pump depending I think I might use Water Spot so that I can chase the enemy and yeah chase and slow down that so that will be my next battle so yeah until then i will see you over there okay so yeah we see that i'm gonna be another defender hopefully i can go off the serve and uh, i think i'm gonna use water spout because water spout apparently actually do more damage than you have to come so yeah i think i'm gonna go that way so yeah, uh, it seems like our opponent team has two defenders, but then again, uh, Blastoise is more of an attacker slash defender. So I think he's using an attacker to a rapid speed and a water spot. So yeah, apparently that has been a trend by now in the game match. So yeah, I'm gonna try out Surf and let's see how it's gonna work out in the rank battles. Yep, water gun, really useful. Uh, wait. I wonder who's... <laughs> okay. Uh, I have no idea who's going mid, so that's why I was. 
having a little trouble with it. So it Scooter, really good. I wonder if we have I'm not sure if we've actually taken down on that. Wow. Let's see who's... No. Whose water gun is powerful. What? <laughs> Oh, okay, thank god I didn't use my jet button. Actually, I'm not sure whether if I use my jet button, will I actually succeed? I just need to stay at the back and do damage. But we are in a bad position because we can't farm. Why are you so aggro? I'm gonna use water spot. I thought I will land the very spot, but the distance is still short. <laughs> it's just still too short. Okay, I'm going down to get uh, to get the jet now, so that I can clear that objective. You are pretty, pretty, pretty alright. Myself. Okay, I thought I have coins, but I After you serve, you can actually go back and forth. Like you can jump here and there. So that's a good thing about it. Come, let's fight. Okay, no? Wow, I. Okay, I killed. <laughs> so I guess that's how powerful uh, Water Spot is. So don't mess with Blastoise. He has so many good combinations. Let me have it. Oh. Nobody's... Oh. Okay, I can I can clear kids with this with this combo. Yeah, water spout and then surf. Oh, I can travel so far. I thought I can run away, but nah, slow will kill me. 
So yeah, with Surf, I can actually chase the opponent really well. And, and I'm not sure if I mentioned, yep, uh, Blastoise Unite move is really strong. Uh, because its cooldown is really is really fast. Uh, I don't want to go. I I think I want to defend the tower. Okay. Oh! Wow! Wow! I thought I would survive and kill that. I really thought I would survive and kill that. Apparently not. But yeah, at least I managed to defend. So actually, I can foresee a, a, a good combo where I can surf and unite, to be honest. And the range is really good. Oh man, I, I missed that surf. Oh man, I thought I would. What? Go! Surf! Okay, ulti, I don't want ulti because the cooldown is really short. The cooldown is really short. Alright, I just need to attack creeps. Seconds. Oh, okay. Wow, in just 30 seconds, 30 more seconds, I'm already at 70 80%. <laughs> That's how fast the Unite Charge move is. And then again, I, I, still, I also have a. Uh, I still have my. Uh, item that can reduce my. The, the Unite Charge move. So, yeah. So now we just have to be in position. And we serve is a really good. I'm gonna wait until everyone gathers, then I can serve. And that's how you use. Oh. Goal. oh wow. What a goal. Uh, I thought I could escape. I thought I could escape, but yeah, we won over there. Actually, I shouldn't have gone top. I should have just gone in the middle. Yeah, that, that's that's a bad play on my part. Yeah. But yeah, that's how you use Blastoise. You serve. <laughs> Surf and you ulti, but then again, when I ulti, uh, there wasn't, there wasn't much, uh, there wasn't uh, anybody there when I ulti there. So, yeah. So I'm trying to defend. Okay, thank you. Nice, thank you. <laughs> yeah, if the blaster has caught you, uh, it could have actually stop. But it doesn't matter. So, so yeah. So, really useful to chase the enemy and just attack. And at the same time, uh, I'm not sure how I actually killed Absol over there. I think it could be because of that water spout. Uh, 
once after that damage, it will be a continuous damage. So, yeah. Bravo team fight. So, yeah, I feel in conclusion. Okay, yes. So, yeah, this is the future me. Uh, I actually mute my uh, previous uh, conclusion over here. So, yeah, because I just realized I did uh, some testing, as you can see from the videos, from my test videos. Apparently, actually, if you just use water spout alone and uh, hydro pump alone, hydro pump so, uh, will do less damage than water spout. But if you use a rapid spin combo with hydro pump or rapid or water spout, hydro pump will do more damage. So yeah, uh, so yeah, this actually gives me a new perspective uh, about this rapid speed combo. So I guess rapid spin and water spout, uh, the damage is the damage output is not as high. Uh, but if I were to use water spout alone. I can use it to slow the enemy uh, for as a support to decrease the movement speed but the damage output uh, and at the same time I will do more damage just by using water spout alone but if I were to use a rapid spin and water spout it will do less damage so probably I if I were to have a water spout and a, and a rapid spin combo a water spout with just a normal attack will do uh, more damage and maybe just have one water spot to have a just to do damage that's all so yeah but if you are really want to have more hard hitting power a uh, water spout no sorry a rapid spin and hydro pump will do more damage and at the same time i can support my teammate as i can use a mini stun with a rapid speed so i think that will do more a lot better so in conclusion i feel that actually rapid spin and hydro pump uh is more reliable i feel yeah, actually, I feel it's more reliable in terms of damage output. <coughs> Just that if I were to use a hydro pump, the accuracy is not as high. Uh, you must really have a good accuracy to land the hydro pump, which I think is not much of a problem over there. So, yeah. So, I guess the combo that I will recommend is actually uh, rapid spin and hydro pump. So, then we'll uh, compare with a surf combo. Uh, I feel that yeah, rapid speed will still out uh, will still do better than the surf combo. It depends on your game style. If you want to KS dreadnought and everything, surf will be a lot better because you can have travel at a further range and then you can ulti or you can then ulti and then spam your attack move. Because once you use your unite move, if you have if you follow my item build, the energy amplifier will do more damage when you use a rapid spin and a hydro pump. So that is a really neat combo over there. So yeah, do feel free and let me know what is your takeaway. Whether are you a rapid spin water spout or a rapid spin hydro pump. So I feel that both of these combo works well. Uh, and also the self combo. Uh, I feel that these three combos has its own users. So yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments below which strategy is your favorite. And yeah, do let me know whether uh, what is your build for this Blastoise and whether my build is suitable for you. So yeah, until then, I will see you in the next video. See you then. Bye!